Well, hello, church family. I can really echo what Paul says when he speaks in chapter one of the letter to the church at Philippi, that I am thankful to God in all my remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, making my prayer for you all with joy. It is a true pleasure to get to open God's word together every Sunday and then to walk in accordance with God's spirit as we seek to follow God's son in our lives together. It's been a true joy to get to go through this letter. And one of the reasons that Paul was so thankful and joyful for the church at Philippi is because they were a people that uniquely demonstrated this generous, joyful, and sacrificial stewardship of their entire lives to support the expansion of the gospel ministry that the Apostle Paul was called to. And so as a church, I am so encouraged that we are able to joyfully, regularly, sacrificially give, not just of our time and talent, but also our treasure, the financial gifts that God has given to us. And when we increasingly understand that each of those gifts as finances are indeed gifts from God for God, we're freed to give, not because we have to, but because in Christ we've been given everything. And so I encourage us to continue giving in a joyful, sacrificial, and generous way to support the work of the gospel, even at our local church and the many partnerships that we have through our local church. And furthermore, I invite you to continue stewarding your efforts in prayer, your time with the church in a way that continues to facilitate this kingdom expansion. So again, I am indeed so thankful for you all, and I can't wait to see you all again soon. And I hope the rest of this email further encourages you and helps you find that next step of participation with our local church.